Escaping's level, Alana Mason. So, we just did Mind Quest The Haunting. My favorite game. So far, Alana's favorite game, and she's done quite a few. Um, you can't see too much in there, but it's because it's haunted, and ghosts just historically don't like light for some reason. I find it's better to do my makeup in the light, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you do need a lot of makeup. I do need a lot of makeup, but I've got this fancy outfit on, which you can probably barely see. Nonetheless, we, uh, uh -huh. I've got a hood, that's right, check it out. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. No. All right, so anyway, um, the set decoration, what do you think? I love it. I love it because it's my favorite thing. Yeah, the set decoration is fantastic. They put a lot of money into it. Every aspect, uh, ceiling to floor, fantastically done. Um, the, essentially, the story Everything is in the right place. Like, yeah, like they've, they've got creepy photos. You can hear the creepy music. Um, you're kind of uh, you there's. You can talk about nothing. What? I can't want to talk about it. Mm. Creepy music. Yeah. Well, they hear the creepy music. They didn't hear the creepy music. I hear the creepy music. Come on. It's in my head. Anyway, <laughs> so creepy music, creepy lighting. Um, basically, we're sent in after a group of paranormal experts fail, and we're supposed to figure out what happened because apparently there's haunting and there's ghosts here. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, because the ghosts are unbelievably crafty, they set a lot of puzzles in the way to find out the murder mystery or whatever it is. We don't understand. But nonetheless, we did solve puzzles. Um, so we really like the set decoration. What about the puzzles? Mm, it's good puzzles. I like it. It's like really a little bit harder from the first two, like we did the diamond hat. Yeah, it's definitely more challenging than like their yeah. diamond heist room. Yeah. But it's alright. You put it up like this. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I thought the puzzles were were great. I mean, like usually there's a lot of locks. Alona is veering off somewhere. She's going to go get lost and probably become a ghost. But there's there's a lot of locks and a lot of rooms. But here they actually minimized on the actual locks and they kind of change it up into a little bit more creative use of uh, puzzle mechanics, which is good because you know uh, lock after lock after lock just becomes cliche in an escape room and. Um, you know, there, there just wasn't much of that. Um, you know, overall, uh, I thought the puzzles were really cool. Um, there was there was also other elements of which I can't say that bring you into the game. It kind of makes you feel that the room's alive with you. Like, yeah. and being that this is a ghost kind of like haunting thing, that's a very good thing to feel that the room's alive with you. Um, so, you know, like overall fun factor. What did you think? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, I can tell about what my favorite thing you can't tell me. no because no. that is because i would have to i would have to kill you ah uh, okay you just need to cut it cut. from the video because <laughs> I, like, I was thinking wow this just really got graphic and violent uh, well i, I thought it was fantastically uh, fun yeah that's it, it was it's a it lot was cool yeah. yeah there was um there was some good stuff in here I would say it's definitely one of the harder rooms uh, here at MindQuest, but also it, it, much like Diamond Heist, it flows very well. Uh, there are some scary elements, of which I am allowed to say. Um, there's some scary elements, flows very well. Overall, I'd say uh, it's one of the more high caliber games uh, as far as getting you into the moment and just unique puzzle usages. So. Mm -hmm. But once again, that's MindQuest, Haunting, Orlando. Alona. Messel. That was French. You see that? It was an accent. <laughs> but we're out. Bye.